Good evening and welcome to Back Chat. I'm your host, Tim. This evening we're chatting to Randy Dikhale. Uh, he's going to be joining us. I hope you guys are excited for this one. It's going to be a good one. Randy Dikhale, the 400 meter runner or sprinter, is with us. So we're going to have a good time, guys. Make sure if you have any questions that you want. Good evening, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. We're chatting to Randy Dikhale this evening. Just checking and sorting out my connection. It looks like it is better now. Welcome guys, just send a wave uh, if you are able to hear me and everything is uh, moja Welcome guys, it's good to have you with us We're going to have a good time Mikola, I see you Hey Yonker, I see Zandi Leyaze is in the building Randy Dikhale is in the building I'm going to send him an invite quickly And then we're going to get this party started So welcome everyone This is Back Chat, I'm your host Tema Madima We are chatting to Randy Dikhale this evening Justin, I see you, Quint Welcome to you, Sean De Villiers. Welcome, big man. Good to have you on here. Just waiting for Randy to, to connect, and then we're gonna get uh, this chat going. So welcome everybody. Randy De Hey, Timbana. How are you doing, brother? How are you good doing? Um, I'm good, thanks yourself, brother. Good, 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 good. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, I've been trying for a very long time to have you here on uh, back chat but i think <laughs> now it's time it's time we're both comfortable you're happy yeah yeah i'm happy man I was, I was still waiting for something special to come so that i can i can be able to talk to you on this uh awesome uh, uh what do you call it? <laughs> no but um that's something special has happened and uh, that's why you are here now so i'm happy can you hear me fine yeah everything is okay i can hear you brother all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do an introduction, Ranti, uh, for those who are watching. And then after the introduction, we'll get uh, into the conversation and uh, we'll get started. Is that fine? Yep. Okay, let's go. Are you fine with that? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with us this evening, we've got Ranti Dikhali. Listen up. He is an All-African Games 4x400 four meter Silver medalist is also a world athletics relays four by 400 meter finalist. He's a world relays four by 400 meter finalist as well. SA championship 400 meter silver medalist, as well as the SA under 23 championship 400 meter champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Ranti Dihale. <laughs> Uh, welcome, Randy, and yeah, thanks for, for your time. So let, let's start here. I, I like to start with this one because we will get to establish a lot of things. Uh, what is your nickname? Do you have any nicknames that you use on the track? What do the people call you? Sure. Yo, Mchimban, I have many nicknames. You know, <laughs> um, they call me Tawa. Some, they call me Hitmaker. Back then, they used to call me... They used to call me Mukoko. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, it's, so, it's, so, it's, so many yeah, it's a lot of nicknames. I also like the. I I, I also personally like to call you the Palawuru Express. Uh, oh, but many yeah. people fight with that one. They're like, yeah, hey, he's not from Palawuru and so on. So tell us your story. Where are you from, Rante? Where did where did your athletics uh, story begin? Oh, okay. I'm from Palawuru. I'm from Namahale. There's a small town near Palawuru called Namahale. That's where I was born mm. and raised. But my parents are from Polokwane in the small village called Moduan, near Teflo. Yeah. So I was born and raised in Palabura, started schooling there, started doing sports that side, and everything began that side. Mm. So athletics, was it, was it always athletics? I know you played other, hey, you played many sports. I, I, I know you, you probably, you probably did wrestling, karate, oh. <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever was happening, you there. What, what sports did you play in high school <laughs> or oh. in primary? Yo, I did cricket. Uh, <laughs> I did baseball. I, I played soccer. Uh, I did bit of karate, but hey, man, they were too harsh. I, 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 I shied away from it. So, um. <laughs> I went into athletics because, you know, it was, for me, it looked as a peaceful sport, less injuries, no tackling. So I was like, okay, let me try this because um, where I'm from in Palabura, uh, 
<laughs> there was a stadium called Namahale Stadium, and there were guys that we were used to run before I started athletics. Every day, yeah. Every day, as I'm passing from 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 my baseball session, I could hear them singing. You could see that those guys are enjoying themselves. So one day I was like, "Ah, uh-uh, man, let me go in there and try, man." Because they see I'm 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 the second baseball player, the second fastest baseball player in the country. Let me go and let me go and say hala in there. So I went to <laughs> a few sessions. I was shocked, man. So even the coach, the late Mr. Makinya, he was like, "No, man, you you are supposed to be in here, not in baseball, man." That uh, that yeah. was too for you. So I was like, "Ah, no, man, I will I will come some other day." Then later I decided, <laughs> "Nah, there's more fun in 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 athletics and less injuries. I'm going there." Then I decided, <laughs> "I'm gonna do athletics." You know, people don't know. Uh, your, your story with the baseball. I mean, you played at a high level, right? You played. Uh, just explain. You know, I, I think people don't, they hear baseball, they don't believe. People are like, ah, baseball. But before we do that, let me just uh, welcome a few people. I see Musison Zima is here. Zagichi oh. has joined us. Oscar Mavunza is here. Ah, Rusani Nebutaru is in here. Your coach Nico Van Heerden. Uh, oh. Shout out to you, coach. We see you. Um, yeah, as well as Noni Monono, welcome. Johan Dupes, I see you. Welcome, guys. All right, explain this uh, this uh, this uh, shenanigans with your baseball. <laughs> um, with baseball in Kimbana, I started baseball uh, in my primary with uh, Mr. Chokwe. Uh, um, the reason why I started baseball is because um, I wasn't I was with a fight with some other guy called Ruben at school, so <laughs> we were exchanging fish. So he decided to run away. So I was like, uh-uh, you can't run away. I picked up the stone and, and I hit him with the stone. It was far. So the coach saw what I did. He was like, I come here. It's either I'm going to beat you every day or you're going to join baseball. I was like, uh-uh, yeah. I'm not baseball. He was like, okay, then it, it's a done deal. You're going to get you're gonna get beaten every day or you join my sport. So I was like, okay, I'll come after school. First three days, I didn't go. So he saw me the other day in the morning. He's like, Emren, I was waiting for you and you never pitched. I was like, yes, sir, I forgot. <laughs> then le- later in the, in the afternoon, uh, I found Mr. Shogo waiting for me at the gate. He's like, now we're playing. So we did start with a pitch, hit and run. You know, there's some basic baseball, you know, for, for children. So there was a, <laughs> there was a, 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 a thing, a net that you, you need to throw the ball. Uh, you need to, you need to throw the ball to a glove. It's it's it, it, there's a glove in the middle. So you hit the target, mm. then you you have to run. Then you get to another point, you hit the ball, you have to run. So those those were easy stuff for me. So it was like yeah, you are, you are now playing baseball officially. So I was like okay, let me give it a try because in cricket, ish man, it was tough for me. There was good player. <laughs> There were good players, so I couldn't get the scheme in the games, man. So I was like, ah, let me stay in here. So that's where I started playing baseball. So, what level, Randy? Were you, did, you, did you almost get uh, your colors? Explain that part. Yeah, I did play African, uh, all Africa games. They were, they were held in Boxberg. I did play uh, on, the, on the upper level. I was selected for, for the national team under 20. I did play a few games. We, we had Ghana, Cameroon, uh, Lesotho, Zimbabwe. Uh, I, sh- I don't remember. You know. Yeah, there were a few countries. I know that that, we- yeah. That's all I wanted to hear. I wanted them to hear that you've got national colors in, uh, in, in, in baseball, you know, just to clear it up. Uh, I see your coach here saying, uh, Happy oh. birthday, Ranti Dikhali. Obviously, uh, today is the 12th. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, man. I think uh, it's, it's, it's a special birthday. Uh, you're on back chat. And I mean, you've also, you're on your way to, to, to living your dream, you know. And the reason, obviously, we're here is because of your athletics uh, achievements, not because of your baseball. Uh, but, you know, definitely uh, an amazing choice. So after you, you joined the, the running group, at what point yeah. did you decide this is something I want to take serious 
And at when, when did you know you can be a professional? Because it's, it's a big difference between liking something, being good at it, and wanting to go pro. <laughs> um, you know, uh, firstly, I went to... The reason why I joined athletics, the other reason that I joined athletics is because of uh, the other girl that I, you know, I used to like. <laughs> while I <was> so <laughs> I did follow that girl, but as soon as I got into 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 athletics, I was like, ah oh, man, there's more into this than you know following ladies. So okay, let me. Try to focus. <laughs> That's where I end up here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see Ria over here, Ria 92, saying big up to you, cuz, and happy birthday. I see Oscar uh, Ozzy, he's saying happy birthday, big man, Mad, uh, Mad Mon Croc saying happy birthday, Bruder. Uh, and I see, yeah, well, happy birthday. It's special, you know, it's very special. So, yeah. obviously, there's a big journey from running in Limpopo um, to, to making the transition here. Yeah. What inspires this move? Because, I mean, we've trained, I mean, you and I have trained many years together with uh, Brass Punch, we were teammates at uh, EC Active and so on and so on. And I mean, we've, I think, uh, yeah, we've, we've come a long way. But your journey to Pretoria, what, what makes you decide on that move? Obviously, your coach is here watching, but before that, there's, there's other moves as well. What, what yeah. encourages you and... How easy is it? Is it an easy move or is it a difficult move uh, moving to Pretoria to pursue this uh, running? Um, Timbana, we firstly we we were running in Stellenbosch. I think it was 2009. We we're running in Stellenbosch. Mm. I made it to the final. So there, you know, we we're sitting on the on the, on the pavilion with uh, Kasta and and Malawuzi, the late Malawuzi and Khoto Mukwena and Mpomolot and the other guys. So. Mm. Uh, she came to me and said, um, bro, who are you training with in Limpopo? So I'm, I was like, I'm training with the other guys, you know. So she was like, okay, I want you to come at this other camp in Pretoria, Michael Sennett. Yeah, yeah. Went, uh, so I was like, okay, I will, I will, I will do so later on in the day. I, I will do come to the camp. So I did so. So I met... Uh, uh, the amazing sponge group guys, you know, the hard workers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys who, who is the pain. Yeah. So that's where I met uh, the Terminator, Temba Madima, sponge group. <laughs> uh, everyone. Yeah, so yeah. that's where I said, ah, uh-uh. okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home, talk to the old lady. I'm no longer going to be that side because this side, there's more facilities. Everything this side mm-hmm. is what what we have in Lumpopo. So that's where I decided to move this side. So obviously, I mean, like I said, it's a, it's a big move. I mean, you had to go home and tell Mamzo uh, that, listen, this is what I want to do. Uh, yeah. What type of support is it? You know, athletics is not always, you know, you know, they, sometimes athletics back home is seen as something that you do just for, you know, entertainment or how, how, how do your family take it when you say, I want to move here to run? You know, what, what is the perception in their mind? Did they know that you would be running at world champs? Uh, did they know you'd be, you know, going to the Olympic Games? Did they know this is the destination or were they thinking, no man, go run and then come back home and work? <laughs> well, you know, firstly, like, you know, back then they were like, ah, no man, you can't be going around running. What are you chasing? I'm like, no, there's something that I see in this sport. So my mom, uh, she was like, okay, let him go and run. Let him enjoy himself. Afterwards, you know, he's good at some other things. He will come back and do those things. Let him enjoy himself. Then she said, you've got my 100% support. Just go, my son, enjoy yourself. Do what you do best. Then I, I was like, uh-uh, I'm going, to, I'm going to join the sponge group. Then, hey, it was tough. It was tough. The support, yes, was there, but you know, um, finally, we, we've made it. I'm here now. Mm. Hey, it's a long journey, man. I mean, I see you, you just skipped a lot of chapters, just <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we all know, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult being uh, an athlete in South Africa. 
and even to to be a place where you can uh, go to the olympics what what did you say um what what is the what what has been the, the most important lesson or the most important um what is it not uh, advice not advice most important that you've taken out of uh, being an athlete or or doing athletics what has been the most important or the most vital element that you've been able to apply in your life that you've learned from it um i would say discipline man you need to be disciplined for you to achieve um many things in this sport um i wouldn't say i was unlucky i would say um there's still more things that are coming for me but discipline is the most biggest biggest key of all times with with discipline you can open each and every door yeah no absolutely hey, i think that's the hardest part you know like uh, you know if you look at chicken field competition competitions they come you know it's a very short uh, window to, maybe if you if you if you plan everything you probably run two months in south africa um and then you have to find a way to increase those months to 3 4 which usually means um going to europe and uh, you know applying yourself that side um you went to europe as well as part of your you know your plan to open up your to open up your your horizon and to open up your 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 knowledge of the sport just explain that um how how important would you say that was uh to towards getting you to you know to 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 being uh where you are now where you're an olympian you know i'm i'm going to say this word a lot so you can understand where you're an olympian now you know yeah 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 um mtimbana uh i would say you know uh you just need to keep on working keep discipline keep working you know do what your coach says you should do stop doing funny stuff that's that's what helped me um i'm where i am because of of uh uh, 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 uh casta michael seme and the group and you also you you helped me to be here um working working you need to keep on working that's the only thing Mm. So, so tell us your first time to Europe. Uh, yes, this boy from uh, Palawura. Uh, he has to get onto onto a, a flight <laughs> uh, to go to to this country. They don't eat pap. There, there's no pap in Maltwana. There's no mashonja. There's no uh, the usuals. Yeah, you don't see nice. shell. Yeah. <laughs> How is that experience? Talk about that experience. Um. Uh, it wasn't easy it wasn't easy because i went alone that side so i uh, i had to adjust because you know i went to to amsterdam amsterdam then i had to be based in in rotterdam so being there there's no mini meal there's no you know there, there's no you know those african food so i had to go to this other african shop and i bought this <laughs> ugali you know ugali <laughs> the kenyan pop <laughs> So I, I ate ugali with with uh, uh, because there were no you know our african meat that side I bought you know drumstick you know <laughs> then I I enjoyed a bit I felt like I'm 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 in africa so everything went well from there cuz first two races I was struggling you know I wanted our bread there's no our bread there there's no milli meal there's no the rice that I'm used to so i had to go to the shops so luckily i went to this other shop african moroccan food moroccan shop so i got uh, ugali then i ate ugali went to my race started running normal times that i usually run in south africa then everything started going well mm, so i mean it's 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 a uh, i think uh, I, you know i mentioned because uh, you know most people when when they when they hear you're going to europe they think you are living in uh, five star hotels you know there's a bus that picks you up everything is just perfect you go there you run pbs you come back but i mean the reality of it is that uh, there there's uh, things that you have to overcome there in order to be able to to get to a point where you can perform but 
the experience you know t- tell us about the what what, ex- what experience what is the experience of running against uh, athletes uh, in europe and w- what you what you were able to take and bring back to south africa and apply in your your running uh, career um i would say you know that side um uh the competition that side it, it's easy it's like in south africa it's like in africa it's just that the difference is those guys they finish harder than what we do in south africa here in south africa we know we have got uh, one or two or three guys or four guys that they can finish faster but that side all of them, all, all of those guys the second 200 yeah, baba they are on your neck you need to run the second 200 unlike in south yeah. africa where we where we go hard all of us then at the end you'll find that there's only four or five guys that finish finish with you unlike that side there you finish neck to neck but the competition wise i would say um south africa we've got more talent more talent than most of the guys that side so and we are consistent we are we are doing well the times that we run here and the times that that they run that side we are much better than them it's just that it's only one or two one of those races that you you know you can go there and get a good time that puts you somewhere in the world so but i'd say um it's not much different and the other thing is the weather you get to a race where there it's it's windy you can you mm. run unlike you're running in porch or pretoria or 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 jemestan it's it's easier to it's easier to run there yeah okay no absolutely man i think you you know you you said it. you said we've got the talent you we we we've got the capability to run fast i need to ask you this question because i think it's an important question uh, for the 400 meter runners in south africa uh that 44 you know what what would you say oh, it, it what, what 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 is the what would you say is going to be the thing the most important thing that will uh have more south africans running uh 44 seconds you know the guys are getting close we've seen 44 uh 450 4501 you know you know besides wait obviously wait for nikak is 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 broken it a uh, couple of times but what what do you think needs to happen for for more and more 400 meter runners to to break that uh 45 the guys in Botswana are doing it uh, obviously there's a lot of things i just want to know from your from your experience what would you say is the most one of the most important things we need in south africa um timbana um i don't think i don't think the i don't think that we need uh, we need anything special because if i can check with the guys this year and last year they've done well hence mm-hmm. i said did that one race that we know we change everything uh yeah if you, yeah. Can, check, if you can check in south africa we've got um uh, about 10 guys that can run a 45 in south africa easily mm. so yeah. i think if the guys can just focus on themselves just leave the pressure don't be pressured by your opponent run your race they can run faster look at uh, lathy look at nene there's a young boy from eastern province that just came now he came second in the sa sa championship then like we just need to relax stay relaxed look at mm-hmm. mabundi look at uh uh kukemur like look at tapelo pura everyone we've got good athletes that they can run below 45 ashley tungwani we've got peter siliga we've got good athletes So hey, that, that's think, almost that I don't think we need uh that special thing to to change us to go to 44 we just need one special race then we, we'll get there the boys are still young i can see they're working towards uh, what you've just asked soon we'll be having plenty of 44s in this country uh, that, that's what we want here and the hale uh I think that's I think that's what we all South Africans want to see because look what you the, the athletes you mentioned now that's almost uh, it's almost three relay teams that can go to uh you know to to any competition and and represent South Africa well you know and what you're saying is it just takes that one moment and then uh, before we know it we've got three or four guys who are running at 44 you know so uh, we, we want it to happen while you're still uh, pushing pace out there 
uh, <laughs> we're going to be watching. I see uh, Unkabeze Nkobolo is in here from uh, Botswana. Uh, I saw the likes of Elisa, Elisa Conley is in here. Uh, Stephen Mukoka, Tipi Tipi, is in the building. Uh, Maputi Africa is in the building. Andre Speedy Chakwa, Chakwa Licious. Uh, one of your, your, your best friends is here, uh, Randy Dihane. Uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, a lot of people are just uh, tuning in. Thanks for tuning in, guys. So, Ranti, did you have any role models coming coming uh, through the ranks? You know, obviously, you came from Paragur, uh, you come mm. a long way. Was there somebody that you looked up to, or is there somebody that you looked up to now? You know, um, hey, man, it's gonna be very, very funny. You know, the there's a guy that um that I look up to. You. He he's my mentor. I spend more time with him. Uh, they call him the king of middle and long distance. Even... <laughs> tippy tippy. <laughs> the reason why the reason why I'd say um I look up to that guy um since I, since I got here in Pretoria, I've I've seen how that guy works. He's so amazing. Mm. Uh, mm. It's like yeah, he has reached he has reached that point where he doesn't feel pain anymore, and I love that. I enjoy seeing him training. Me. I've trained with him mm. for a while. He'll be so quiet in the, in a hard pace as if he's not there, man. He I will even ask you, are you okay? Because you can see that you're suffering. So um, I look up to that guy. He's so he's so hard, man. He's so hard, strong, and fast. Mm -hmm. tippy tippy uh, like you said you said he's the king of uh, middle and long distance i mean phenomenal a uh, role model i think for, for all athletes in south africa you know uh and i mean hey man, this man is 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 when you go to olympics you can you must watch out we, we can always expect something you know he's got a a top five at the the last world so hey tippy we're watching yeah, we, we haven't forgotten uh what you're able to do I see uh, Ma Matsuku Dikhali is in here. Says big up to my uncle. Uh, she was also saying happy birthday, uncle. Uh, so yeah, thanks uh, Matsuku, as well as who else? I saw another comment here. I see Midstream is in here as well. Andrew Lumpies Walsh, welcome guys. Awesomeness, good to have you here. Your motivation. I know, you know, from, from uh, spending time with you and, you know, everything that we, we've, we've worked together, you know, with, with Irvin and, uh, you know, through EC Active and all the other stuff. I know one thing is that you're always motivated. You're always hungry. You're always, um, you know, passionate. You know, you're, not, you're somebody who, who, who doesn't want to hold back. You know, you want to give everything in a race or everywhere. Um what is your motivation? What keeps you going for so long and, uh, you know, so strong and you always, you know, you, you're a hard worker. Somebody says, I just work on the track. Uh, but what, what keeps you motivated? You know, um, I haven't achieved what I want to achieve. So, you know, mm. I'm, I'm that never, never gives up. I always tell myself that no matter how hard it is, keep going. So, yeah. What whether I fail or not, I always tell myself, okay, readjust, refocus, get everything together, go back to the drawing board, check what, what have you missed, and go back, fight again. That's what, that's what I always mm. tell myself. Yeah, no, big ups. And it's working because uh, every year you come out with one mission, you know, you, 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 you set your goals. And <clears throat> I think it's, it's also important because what I've seen also this year, and you know also just from speaking with the guys uh the guys are always saying uh like when we did the interviews with the guys before you went to the the athletics relay uh the world athletics relays everybody is saying Randy Dihal. Dihal is motivating us he's the one that's uh keeping us focused he's he wants us to to give our best you know even when i was chatting to you you were saying even if you don't go you know as long as uh, at least somebody from your training group goes, Tapelo Pora or Ashley, you know, uh, you're willing to even sacrifice yourself sometimes. Where, where is this mentality from? Uh, you, uh, you know, athletics, is, they say it's not a team sport. Uh, what's going on? Um, 
I think this it's 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 in me. It's where I'm from. It's it's how yeah. it's how I've been. You know, I'm a kind person. I when I want to help people, I help people with all I have. I rather have nothing, but the person next to me had something. You know, I I always tell myself that you know, be kind. Be kind. No matter no matter you don't get anything from that, but just be kind to people. Keep working hard. That's how I am. I like I. I think it's because where we're from in Lumpopo, where my parents are from, we, we you know, we're staying in the, I would say, royal family. Ah, that's how I am. That's how I am. No, big ups, man. I think keep up the energy. And I think it's going to be important, you know, especially going towards the Olympics, uh, the 4 by 4 Let's talk the 4 by 4 I think we'll, we'll probably... Uh, end uh, there now because now it's almost time. Olympic Games. What are Olympic Games to Randy de I mean, this is is this something that you you've always dreamed of? What does it mean to see your name black and white to Rie? It's possible. I'm going. You know, I'm there. What What does this mean uh, to 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 you? So, Chimban, um, honestly. <laughs> I would say um, I'm going to another level of athletic. Yeah, I would say that because um, it started in, in Poland earlier this year while we were running the 4x4. Four four. Um, it was cold. I remember the boys were complaining, Asian it's cold. I was like, guys, listen, there is Olympic ahead of us. We just need to finish top, top two, get a good time, then go back home, work again. I know it's cold, but hang in there. It's only two races. Mm. Then as yeah. soon as I as soon as I dip on that line after that uh, that heat, then I was like, yeah. I'm in the Olympic. I've made it. I've, I've achieved yeah. my goal. So we made it. So if you can check the videos there, um, I I almost dropped a tear. The way I was asking the guy. <laughs> so, come with you, all the guys. We're going to the Olympic. So as soon as the the name of the countries appear on the board that you know we are in, so they were like, yes, we are we are in the final eight. So I was like, tomorrow, let's go and enjoy ourselves in that race. We get a medal, it's okay. We come last, it's okay. Let's enjoy ourselves. And we did, we did our best, even though you know it's normal for for athletes to make mistakes in the race. And it, and it happens every way. So I was like, okay, it's okay. Let's take what we what we got. It's okay. Let's go back and work. Then we'll see at the in Tokyo at the Olympics. Now I'm in Tokyo. Uh, uh, I'm going to Tokyo. And uh, it's something great is coming. You know, if you were back back home in uh, Palaburo right now, when while you're talking, people will be going. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah. It's for the women. It's for, yeah. It's it's for the women, but you know, for you I'll do it, you know. I just do it because I know uh uh Palaburu, uh Sisheho, Limpopo, you know, they celebrate when uh when one of uh, their own goes and represents uh South Africa at, at such a level. I see your coach here is saying uh he is a role model for a lot of people. Uh South Africa is behind Duranti and the team. And I, I personally believe, man, South Africa, any given time in a four by 400 meter can get a medal. That's, that's what I personally believe. I know you believe it as well. Uh, I know you guys are going to be fighting. I see Noni Mono saying we are proud. Um, your coach is saying he treats other people with, uh, and athletes with, with respect. You know, that's, that's what we want to, that's what, that, that's what it's about, you know, having that, uh, that spirit. And uh, when, some, when people look at South Africa, they must look at people like Randy Dekhail and say, this is the type of athletes we have. So, so, so big ups for that. Hey, but I've got a question. I, I don't see you much at the 600 meter these days. Are you avoiding me, Randy? What's going on? No, I'm giving you, uh, you guys a chance to run. <laughs> I'm coming back next week. You know, in that race, <laughs> I, used, I used to say this way. I get baby city one. <laughs> you know that's what I <laughs> that's why I say that <laughs> and I'll make sure that I have my you know very well 
So, but next, <laughs> next, year, next year there's something special coming, guys. Next year I've, I've got I've got a surprise for everyone. Something something huge is coming. So yes, in that yes. race I'm in. I'm in in that race. So I'm coming to Man. After Olympics, I'm going back to Chinikofan here then. But I, was, I think I should go and visit, you know, my guys before going to Chinikofan here then. I'm coming. And I'm coming hard. The next one I got <laughs> in danger. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you heard a story from Brandy Dikhale. He's saying the 600 meter national record is under threat. Um, he's coming for it. Uh, Zagiti Nene was uh, one of the top two finishers in the race this year. He's, he's, uh, he's listening, he's watching. Uh, the warnings have been uh, put out. Uh, 20, 20, 2022 is the 10th year of the classic shootout. Randy, you love the classic shootout. Uh, you know, every year it's, like, it's part of your calendar uh, for yeah. preparations and planning. So I know we'll see you there. But let's just uh, wrap it up. Um, a, word, a word to South Africans. You know, people, people don't always uh, understand. Your journey has been different, Randy. Your journey, you know, most of the youngsters, they get their journey earlier in their careers and what, what. Yours is coming towards the, the later part of your career where you've been in uh, all these major championships. You've got the experience. Um, you know, you can look at the likes of, even the likes of, uh, I mean, Makwala is, 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 is maturing as he gets older. So, That means that there's still a lot in your tank as well, you know. What message do you have to, to the youngsters in South Africa? Um, what I would say to the youngsters in Chimbana, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's easy. They should just focus. Like I said earlier on, they should just fo- focus, keep discipline, respect, focus on their goal. It's easy. It's easy, mm. man. Look. I look at the Americans that doing it so easily even us some of us are doing so easily look at the look at uh, Simbini Hatuchezo mm. Mm. Uh, little gift Mashele Mukoka and, and those other guys it's easy it's not hard but it, it all begins in training you can't go to a major competition or to a competition and expect to come first with a great time without doing it in training it needs to begin somewhere that's how life it is behind the scenes absolutely behind the scenes behind the scenes is where it all happens no i agree ranti and i just want to from back track side uh i just want to you know i want to thank you for your time uh thank you for being a good role model man for the sport for for being somebody that the athletes can can talk to get advice even the youngsters they they can talk to you uh you know they can laugh and so on but you always remind them to put in the work So yeah we we look forward to seeing you at the Olympic Games. Uh we know you're going to play a very important role in that 4x4 team. I know you guys will make it to the final. Um so come final is just a matter of how bad you want it uh, Palaburo Express. How bad do you want it? Uh, I know you'll be diving over that line. Uh, that's when I know you've given your your your, your all. Um so all the best towards the Olympics. And yeah, we'll be looking out and we'll be supporting uh, back home here in South Africa. No, thank you, Chimana. Thank you for the great opportunity for inviting me in the back All right. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining in. You heard it straight. We were chatting to the man who goes by Rante Di Khaled. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll be back again uh, later this week. Elisa Conley's got a Back Your Girl session coming up as well. Uh, but for now, Palawuro Express, Rante Dikhali, Sawa Sawa. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your time. We'll see you again. All the best with preparations. And yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Shop. All right, guys. Thanks. Take care and good night.